Tonight, Columbus City Council passed four ordinances meant to help curb gun violence in the city. Yeah, those four ordinances ban bump stocks, ban the sale of imitation guns to minors, address properties where violent crimes consistently happen, and expand the definition of domestic violence to try to keep guns out of the hands of those who are convicted of domestic violence. NBC4's Rob Sneed spoke with a mother who lost two children to gun violence. Rob is live with her reaction tonight. Rob? Yeah, Mike, that mother told me that losing her children was one of the toughest things she ever had to deal with. And she's hoping this legislation will be a step in the right direction so that no other mother has to feel her pain. April 2015, a day Crystal Turner lost both of her children to gun violence on Columbus's south side. Her son and daughter were murdered by her daughter's husband. And since then, the same conversation about how to stop gun violence continues. The rate in which we are losing our children, we slow down the violence that is happening in our community, and we have to start, start somewhere. And Turner thinks the Columbus City Council is taking steps in the right direction with the passing of the four ordinances. It may not be the big start or the everything that everybody wants to happen, but it is a start. One of those people she spoke about was Council President Shannon Hardin. NBC4 had the chance to speak with him concerning the vote and why he personally wanted to see this legislation happen. A lot of the people that were victims of violent crime, a lot of people that really had to bear the weight of these gun-related uh, gun deaths look like me and came from communities like myself. And so uh, we couldn't just continue to talk. We had to do what we can uh, to keep neighborhoods safe. I am happy to hear that all of them passed um, because, as I said to city council, um, when I was there to hear the proposal, what's important to me at this point is, is that we slow down the rate in which we are losing our children. Turner told me she would continue to be an advocate against gun violence and continue to stay in communication with council members. Local for you at City Hall, Rob Sneed, NBC4.